Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense, and today we'll talk about rheumatology. If you have noticed, every Saturday we talk about rheumatology. Okay, today's topic is joint fluid analysis. In the previous video, we talked about the physiological aspect. Today, we'll talk about actual diseases. Pathology, the scientific study of people gone weird. And let's get started. So what does the normal look like in joint fluid aspiration? Color, it should be colorless or straw colored. Aspect or clarity, it should be clear. Consistency, thin and stringy. Viscosity, moderate. White blood cells, less than 200 white blood cells per cubic millimeter. And the neutrophils or the PMN should be less than 25%. Red blood cells, zero to one, free of bacteria, fungi or viruses. Glucose slightly lower than that of the blood. If the diagnosis is uncertain, examine the synovial joint. Poke that joint and tap it, get the fluid, send it to the lab. Joint fluid examination is diagnostic in cases of infectious arthritis and microcrystalline arthritis. We say microcrystalline, don't expect to see like a four carat diamond ring inside the patient's big toe. It's not gonna happen. Never pass the aspiring needle through an underlying plaque of psoriasis or cellulitis. You can transmit infection. If the patient is on anticoagulants, use a small gauge needle to decrease the risk of bleeding. Do not aspirate of the INR, which is part of the prothrombin time. The international normalized rate is higher than three because there is a higher risk of bleeding. We're trying to diagnose the disease, not kill the patient. Now you tap the joint and send the fluid to the lab. What will the lab do? Four things. Gross examination by the, the naked eye. I always laugh at naked eye. Cell count. You count the cells. Microscopic examination and then cultures to detect infection. If you didn't know that cultures are supposed to detect infections, there is no hope for you. This is not sociology. This is medicine. So when you examine the joint fluid by your eye, the aspect or the clarity, it should be transparent. That's normal. If it's mild inflammation, translucent, which is different from transparent, if you notice. Opaque, purulent, this is inflammation. This is septic arthritis. Bloody, in cases of traumatic tap, trauma, bleeding disorder, such as hemophilia. Bleeding into big joint is a sign not of the primary hemostasis problem, but the secondary hemostasis problem because this is a deep bleeding. There is a problem in the coagulation factors, not the platelets. When we count the white blood cells per micro microliter, also known as cubic millimeter, also known as MCL, same stuff. Normally less than 200, non-inflammatory less than 2000, so osteoarthritis is here. Inflammatory 2000 to 75,000, so rheumatoid arthritis is here. Perulant is more than 100,000, septic arthritis is here. Microscopic examination by the plain polarized light, negative birefringent, the monosodium urate in cases of gout, positive birefringent in cases of pseudogout called calcium pyrophosphate dihydrate crystals. The gram stain should help with septic arthritis, but it's only 50% sensitive, which is a piece of trash because this is just like flipping a coin. Now let's play this game. Here is osteoarthritis. Okay, please now leave the couch. Don't be lazy. Your butt is becoming one with the couch. Leave the couch, sit on a disc, get a piece of paper and try to answer all of the upcoming questions. We're talking about osteoarthritis. I want you to guess how the clarity will be. How about the color in case of osteoarthritis? White blood cells, PMNs and culture of the joint fluid aspirate. Now pause. The answers, clarity should be transparent. What was the normal? The normal is transparent, so this is normal. Color, in osteoarthritis, it's yellow. Do you remember the normal? Colorless or straw colored, so this is kind of darker than normal. White blood cells, less than 2000. Do you remember the normal? Less than 200. PMNs, less than 25%, which is normal. Culture is negative, which is also normal. So your only problem, your main problem here is the white blood cells. The second problem is the yellow color, but mainly don't forget the white blood cells, less than 2000. Let's talk about rheumatoid baby. Again, clarity, color, white blood cells, PMNs, and culture. Now pause. Welcome back, people. 
Okay, rheumatoid arthritis is an inflammatory arthritis. So the clarity, translucent to opaque. Is this normal? No, it's not. What's the normal? The normal is transparent. Color, yellow to opalescent, which means multiple colors. Is this normal? No, what was the normal? Colorless. Okay, let's go to the white blood cells. 2,000 to 75,000, this is inflammatory. Is this normal? No, what was the normal? Less than 200. PMNs, greater than 50%. Is this normal? No, what's the normal? Less than 25%. Culture negative, this is inflammatory. There is no infection, there are just crazy O2 antibodies all over the place. Now let's talk about gout, baby. I mean, look at this big toe. Big toe, but doctors don't say big toe. They say first metatarsal joints because doctors are super sophisticated to the point of being stupid. Okay, anyways, gout again. Okay, pause. Here are the answers. It's exactly the same as rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, clarity, translucent to opaque, which is not normal. Color, yellow to opalescent, which is not normal. White blood cells, 2,000 to 75,000, which is not normal because the normal was less than 200. PMNs, more than or equal 50,000, and the culture is negative. Okay, let me ask you a question. How about microscopic examination in cases of gout? Would you expect negative birefringence or positive birefringence? And the answer is negative birefringence. Can you describe the shape of the crystals? Yes, they are a needle-like. Malar rash that involves the cheeks, the nose, but spares the nasolabial fold. In a female in her childbearing age, this is probably lupus. What kind of O2 antibodies can we see? Anti-double-stranded DNA, anti-Smith antibodies, anti-U1 RNP antibodies, and anti-ribosomal P proteins. How about the complement level in the plasma? Low, called hypocomplementemia. Now pause. All right, folks, lupus is an inflammatory arthritis, so same exact thing as gout and rheumatoid. Clarity, translucent to opaque, which is not normal because the normal is transparent. Color, yellow to opalescent, which is not normal because the normal is colorless. White blood cell, 2,000 to 75,000, which is not normal because normal is less than 200. PMNs, greater than or equal 50%, which is not normal because the normal is less than 25%. Cultures are negative because there are no bacteria. This is normal. Next, Joe Grin syndrome, a triad of dry eyes, dry mouth, and inflammatory arthritis. You have an increased risk of lymphoma. What kind of lymphoma? Is it Hodgkin's or non-Hodgkin's? The answer is non-Hodgkin's. Which subtype of non-Hodgkin's? And the answer is marginal zone B-cell lymphoma, also known as maltoma. Watch my video on marginal zone lymphoma if you wish. Cool, now pause. Okay, here are the answers. Jogren syndrome is an inflammatory arthritis, so treat it exactly the same as rheumatoid, lupus, gout, etc. Clarity transparent to opaque, which is not normal because the normal is transparent. Color yellow to opalescent, which is not normal because the normal is colorless. White blood cells 2,000 to 75,000, which is not normal because the normal is less than 200. PMNs is abnormal, the normal is less than 25%. Cultures are negative. The video is not over yet. I'm just letting you know that I have Perfectionalis Ultimate Notebook, also known as Pun, about lymphoma. All you need to know about lymphoma in a very huge file, more than 90 pages, more than 100 megabytes. Plus, I'll give you 20 lymphoma cases with answers and 25 bleeding cases with answers, available at the current price only for 50 students. So, hurry up, please. Now, septic arthritis, which is a medical emergency, affects usually one joint. It's a monoarticular problem. Now, pause. So this is the worst. It's purulent. Not just inflammatory, it's purulent, which means severe inflammation and infection. Clarity, opaque, which is worse than translucent. Okay. What's the normal? The normal is transparent. Color, yellow to green. What's the normal? Colorless or straw-colored. White blood cells more than 100,000, which is huge, which is abnormal. The normal is less than 200 PMS, more than 75% of the white blood cell count. This is crazy. Culture is positive, usually. Why positive? Because there is a bacteria. Hello. So here's the table that will summarize everything for you. And now forget about volume. This is kind of BS. Let's talk about the clarity. Normally transparent, non-inflammatory. Transparent, inflammatory, translucent to opaque, purulent, opaque. How about the color? Normally should be clear, colorless, non-inflammatory, yellow, inflammatory, yellow to opalescent, and purulent, yellow to green. 
White blood cells, normally less than 200, non-inflammatory, less than 2,000, inflammatory, 2,000 to 75,000, prolonged, huge, more than 100,000. Then PMNs, normally less than 25, less than 25, inflammatory, more than 50, prolonged, more than 75%. Culture, negative, 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 positive, usually. Okay, so normal is here. Osteoarthritis is here. Rheumatoid arthritis is here. Jogren, here. Lupus, here. How about perulent? This is the septic arthritis, baby including gonococcal arthritis. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and save my rheumatology playlist. Please support this channel on Patreon. You will get the cases, you will get the notes, you will get lots of great stuff. So thank you in advance. And this is Medicosis Perfectionalis. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard.